Indonesia terkenal dengan masakannya yang lezat dan kaya akan rempah-rempah. Di lain sisi, Malaysia juga memiliki hal yang sama, alhasil ada banyak sekali persamaan dalam soal makanan. Contoh, di Malaysia, ada nasi lemak, dengan lauk telur rebus, ayam, dan sambal ikan bilis. I got their special nasi lemak with rendang chicken. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Tastes really good. It's like a nice mix of stuff. The spice isn't too crazy. I don't know how spicy this stuff is gonna be. That looks like that. Now let me get some. Oh. Di Indonesia pun ada hidangan yang serupa, yaitu nasi uduk, dengan lauk yang juga mirip-mirip. Nasi uduk. Ini nasi uduknya, saya beli dari pasar. Ini nasi uduk khas Medan. Ini ada rendangnya. Namanya kawalan atau nawalan gitu. Lupa sumpah saya. Namanya. Ini ayamnya. Lalu, di Indonesia kita sudah sangat mengenal hidangan sate. Dengan saus kacang yang manis dan gurih, di Malaysia pun juga sama. Mereka punya sate dengan berbagai macam variasi. You have sate here? Six for, for how many pieces? Five pieces? Okay, well, let's get uh, chicken. Ah, so we have fire here and then the sate is get grilled fresh. The yeah, sate are nice as a small snack. Just like a little uh, skewers here with meat. So, the food has arrived and it looks absolutely inviting. And you have six winged for five pieces, a little bit of sticky rice, cucumber, onions, and the sauce, of course. Let's see if it's uh, still hot. Yes, it is. <laughs> But I actually can't wait to try it. Maybe the sauce will cool it down a little bit. So let's dip it into the sauce. Mm. Oh, very good. Sit up. Sit up, sit up. Very good. Terkadang, karena persamaan ini, di sosial media seringkali muncul perdebatan-perdebatan antara netizen Malaysia dengan Indonesia. Topik perdebatannya pun bermacam-macam. Ada yang berdebat soal asal-usul masakan, serta ada juga yang saling berdebat, mana yang lebih enak, antara masakan versi Malaysia atau Indonesia. Karena ramainya perdebatan ini, seorang bule yang berasal dari Polandia pun membuat sebuah perbandingan. Dalam kontennya, ia membandingkan dua jenis makanan yang sama dari kedua negara, yaitu nasi lemak versus nasi uduk, dengan sate Indonesia versus sate Malaysia. Dan... Reaksi dari bule ini pun sungguh di luar dugaan. I'm about to try Indonesian nasi lemak for the first time. I made my way to Jakarta and this morning my friend was ordering nasi udu and the Indonesian colleague mentioned that this is the equivalent of Malaysian nasi lemak. The rice is cooked with santan. I've never tried it before so I'm really curious. It looks like this. Jom, chuba. Okay, maybe I went a little bit too crazy with Indonesian nasi lemak. A kopi untuk saya. Now I'm really curious, what is better, nasi lemak or nasi uduk? Tau bawang, that with corn instead. And with sambal. I'm very excited to try, I mean nasi, but also rendang. Ooh, smells like santan. Let me try nasi first. Mm. Oh, it's really creamy, really coconutty, really aromatic and perfect texture. Mm. The rendang with nasi lemak is so good. Sayur also very good, very crispy, good texture of cabbage, delicate but flavor some egg with a scary amount of sambal. Really like the Indonesian sambal. It is always quite aggressive but in a good way. But okay the rendang and nasi lemak it's amazing because it reminds me of rendang top. It's quite hard. Perfect texture and that very like coconut is spicy oniony rendang paste paired with the nasi lemak which is very creamy and really really nice. I don't know how I'm gonna finish it all, but rendang, nasi lemak, sayur, and of course the sambals are my highlights. But I wouldn't compare it to like our Malaysian nasi lemak. It's just very different dish. I mean, the rice is very good, very comparable to our good nasi lemak rice, nasi lemak. But then so many lauks that it just became nasi champur with the nasi lemak. But I'll definitely come back for it again. And I'm back in Jakarta. Ya, untuk nasi uduk, 
Meskipun dengan variasi yang sedikit berbeda, ternyata ia lebih menyukai tipe nasi uduk Indonesia. Lalu untuk satay, ia juga menyempatkan untuk mencoba satay dari Indonesia, dan inilah penilaian dia. I came to the satay place in Jakarta that was recommended to me by my Malaysian friends. They said that Malaysian satay and Indonesian satay are a little bit different. One thing it's definitely different, there is a lot of different types of satay, but not just the meat types, but also the sauces and the marination. Sauces look very different, they're all glossy and silky, don't have the chunky peanut pieces in it. And where is the cucumber and the small rice cubes? Okay, this definitely looks like dagging, so let's try it first. John Makan! Mm. Mm. So smoky. Do I like it? The sauce is definitely less sweet than Malaysian satay sauce. It tastes a lot like peanut butter. It's really good when you add a little bit of the sambal that they have here. It's quite spicy, good kick. The meat is nicely smoky, not the softest, but, but a good texture. But I like when they have those fatty, chewy, almost like a sweet pieces of the meat. This doesn't have that. Next one, which definitely looks like chicken. It doesn't smell like peanuts. Smells very roasty. Mm. Sambal is really spicy. The sauce is very mild. It's a little bit sweet, but I can't really detect any strong flavor in it. The meat is good, but I like when the edges are really bakar. This is just quite soft. It's juicy. When you bite into it, there is no intense flavor. The last one smells like peanut sauce. It's definitely I am. It's more roasted. But the sauce is very similar to the first one. Also tastes like peanut butter. So this is like a slightly sweetened peanut butter. And this is unsweetened peanut butter. Very interesting, not what I expected. But I'm really missing the crunch in the sauce itself. Cumber, trying all of that. I think I prefer Malaysian satay. Untuk satay, bule ini lebih memilih versi dari Malaysia. Karena satay Malaysia terdapat tekstur seperti kacang yang tidak terlalu halus. Jadi menambahkan kesan yang lebih menyenangkan. Tapi, apapun itu, dari sini kita sudah bisa melihat bahwa meskipun ada kesamaan, tapi dari masing-masing negara ada keunikan tersendiri yang menjadikannya sedikit berbeda. Menurut kalian gimana guys? Tulis di komentar.